The first is uh, Rio Canya. Rio Canya is a community that's about 10 miles south of Escudo de Veraguas. So it's maybe what, 50 or 60 miles to the uh, east of Bocas del Toro. It's got an amazing, two amazing rivers that end in this community and the people are so genuine there. And it's such a magnificent place to land a seaplane. It's a, it's a seaplane pilot's wet dream to be able to land on this river up there because it doesn't matter how stormy the swell is, you can always land up there. But the uh, a very engaging community, we wanted to do a sustainable tourism project with the community, a long-term relationship to build trust so we could fly in there and enable sustainable tourism projects. People could see the wetlands, the longest beach in Panama, um, Escudo de Raguas. So we actually went one day and we met the whole community, a hundred and some people. Uh, and we did a little bit of a presentation about what we wanted to do. And everybody got up and spoke. And the words I heard, if I didn't hear it once, it was a hundred times, was community, community. So they're very proud of their community and their ecosystem and, and very protective of it. And they basically you know, turned over the trust of that to us to help them uh, enable sustainable tourism there. So a very future there uh, that we see, and we're doing things like helping them right now with the fresh water project. So we're working with a group in the United States to get them fresh water, which they don't have now and, and things like that. I think the second one that really amazes me was uh, uh, Porto Escribanos, which is uh, about 20, 15 miles to the west of Povenir. And it's this little hidden bay uh, that nobody goes to, nobody knows about it. It's, uh, there's no touristic activity there right now. There's no developments, but it's a beautiful bay to land the seaplane in. Um, it's always accessible. Um, but there's mangroves, there'll be snorkeling there, there'll be fishing, there'll be scuba diving, everything in this little community. And, uh, and the, everywhere you turn, there's the history, the backstory of the history of all these regions. For example, in Rio Caña, it's one of the oldest tribes in Panama. And the history goes back to the warriors and the different tribes. And the, supposedly they would ban the enemy warriors to... Uh, by, to Escudo de Veraguas, and then, and that's why you hear the the wind whistling through the the the, the bays there, because that's the voices, the ghosts of the uh, ancient warriors there. And then in Escribanos, it was the pirates. So they, you know, back before they were hauling gold from the Pacific side, they, you know, there was years of ships in the 1500s that were going up that coast, and these pirates would put their ships in that little bay and then they would actually pull the masts down so the the gold ships going by couldn't see them and as soon as they were by they would just let the rope up and jump in the boat and go out and plunder the the ship so everywhere in Panama there's an amazing backstory of history that is just waiting to be discovered there's so many stories here that that's one of the, the great things of going to these these new locations <music>